Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome to the stage your host for this evening, Mark and Colin! Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Colin. Hello! Hello. Uh, now, we know you guys are here to see some comedy, <laughs> not, not charming. But before we get to that, we want to talk about some issues, because we're with the Cambridge Get it right, Cambridge. Church Electronic Confession System, sponsored by Wendy's. <laughs> Press start to begin. Thank you. To make a confession, select a slim sin from the list. You selected sin 28, sex before marriage. Why did you have sex before marriage? You have selected option six, lost self-control while on last vacation in Amsterdam. <laughs> Please indicate the consequences of your sin. You have selected option one, crabs. <laughs> you have also selected option 46, banned from the Anne Frank Museum. <laughs> this sin has been located under section 413, anti-Semitism and or scorn of museum etiquette. We have located several other sinners in this section. Are you any of these people? Hitler. <laughs> Walt Disney. Hitler. Mel Gibson. Hitler. You have selected Hitler. Unexpected Nazi in the confession area. It's time to get creative. Please select an option for creative confession. Option one, join the dots with Judas. Option two, Pontius Pilates. Option three, Sodom and Gomorrah super sing-along. If you're a sinner and you know it, clap your hands. <coughs> clap your hands. Come on, you're not clapping. Clap your hands! <laughs> Great job. You deserve a timeout. Let's play snake. Can you collect all the apples? all the fruit. Too bad it was forbidden and you caused original sin. <laughs> You've been punished with sacrificial lamb blood. <laughs> Wendy's home-brewed sacrificial lamb blood is ethically sourced from grapefruits and also blood. <laughs> Congratulations, you successfully confessed a sin. How do you feel? You selected option two, proud. Pride is a sin. Please return to the main menu to make a confession. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Kagan standing on the footpath. <laughs> Mr. Jones approaches, and Mr. Kagan, <laughs> playful by nature, proceeds to initiate a friendly game. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones joins in willingly, though fails to acknowledge the know it back. <laughs> Mr. Kagan therefore changes the game to a tickle fight with his foot. <laughs>
week I'm going to be reading an extract from my autobiography. David Attenborough. <laughs> my story. <laughs> and we're going to be reading from chapter 3. A national treasure. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> and I was gagging for it. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get in the club. <laughs> Unfortunately, the queue for the club was really long, <laughs> and also full of people. <laughs> happened 
said, I tell you what's happened that day. Literally my sticky bollocks and blue space. I tell you what's happened. Brian Cox. UK national treasure. <laughs> to everyday life. This week, going on a date. Step one, you must compliment the woman to make her feel comfortable. I think you have a distinctive jaw structure. <laughs> Excellent. Now, wait for her to return the compliment. Thank you, your eyebrows are largely symmetrical. Good. Things are going well. Now, it is important that you make physical contact with your date. Carefully touch as someone romantic, but appropriate. <laughs> the woman to return to physical gesture. <laughs> Quick, say something romantic to make the woman special. This is adequate. I agree. Fantastic. The date is going wunderbar. Huh? But this, oh no, you need to go to the bathroom. You will have to excuse yourself politely to ensure there's no embarrassment. I need to urinate. <laughs> Please do not be alarmed. Quickly, go to the bathroom. Make sure you are fast, otherwise she will get suspicious and may think you are a spy. <laughs> Make sure to tell a joke to lighten the mood. Why did the apple fall out of the cupboard? I do not know, tell me why. Because the cupboard had already reached its maximum capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you must give the woman a gift to demonstrate that you are kind. This is for you. Thank you, but I already own this one. Ah, you are a fool. You have brought her something she already owns. The debt is falling apart. Your only hope now is to ask her to marry you. Will you marry me? Yes. Fantastic. Another successful date. We hope you have found this video informative. Next week on the Munich University Welfare Ops Guide to Everyday Life, dealing with negative stereotypes. <laughs>
feminism and sexism, a couple of issues that we want to discuss with you tonight. Uh, we're very much pro feminism, are we, Kyle? Yeah, we're aware we live in a sexist society that ignores the achievements yeah. of diverse. Personally, I think it's as long as we get rid of that attitude that we'll see our first female prime minister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, uh, as feminists, we're very much aware that men and women are very different, very different. Uh, uh, I read an article recently coming out that said uh, uh, women are twice as empathetic as men.
Jesus, you made man from heaven. I'll feed you 24 7 because my daily bread's on heaven from the year and the year. So the bridge of all we get, all we get, all the women with my left and print bedding. Our parents took to Europe, sent the banter levels through the roof. The Lord was still burning on the till I'll give to Michael Luke. The boss turned up and going with action, so I read it all, so came home to discover Jesus. Tattooed on his testicles! I'm the gentleman who's had and I'm the river and with never any swagger. If you look up on the brink, I'm the chisel facial features and it looks at him. Ha 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 ha. Let the fun keep picking on him. Amen. <laughs>
I go around asking you questions? No. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Okay. Um, uh, this is a zebra crossing, and it's black and it's white, but not everything in life is black and white. <laughs>
we get around. Oh, oh it's us again, Mark and Colin. We are nearly at the end of the show. We certainly enjoy talking to you about the issues. Yeah, now we will see if you've been paying attention for the last hour. And for this, we're going to need a volunteer. You, sir, look like you ought to come up on stage. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> What's your name? Now our first role play is going to be called Choices. Let's see if James makes the right choice. First role play, here we go. Hi James, would you like a bag of drugs in the ice? Yes! I'm scheming, but can't you understand that I wear black because it's slimming? <laughs> Being Severus Snape has never been much fun. If you counted all my girlfriends, you would have to count her. Thanks to that James Potter and his nasty little son that I've got 99 problems, but a witch ain't one. I try looking macho without much success because the gown I have to wear looks like a pregnant woman's dress. I hate those nasty kitties, though they really make me grow with names I can't pronounce like Ronald and Hermione. <laughs> I've never been a ladies' man. I'm rubbish at Quidditch. And I've yet to find a girl who's keen to touch my golden snitch. I've given up my desperate quest to better Hogwarts, which 
because Trelawney is a psycho and McGonagall's a strong independent woman. <laughs> The ladies tell me that I'm too bad tempered and surly, but really they're just thinking that my hair looks girly. Sometimes I like to say things that are highly irrelevant. I went on a safari and I saw a baby elephant. <laughs> Being Severus Snape. Being Severus Snape is not all bad, I suppose. Voldemort made me his bitch. Yes, I'm the one he chose. But whose side am I really on? Not even Voldy knows. And I don't think he'll ever smell a rat. Because he hasn't got a nose. I'd like to charm the ladies like a wizard James Bond, but the only charms I know are a spellbook and a wand. No one understands that I'm quite a funny bloke. In fact, let's stop the music, because I've written you a joke. <laughs> knock, knock. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Celebrity. <laughs> Tell me, what will I get if I added powder of root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? You don't know. Pity.